I just finished the wish tree. I'm gonna tell you about it. So, when I started reading it, I wondered what the book was gonna be about. And of course, a wish tree. And it's not like any normal tree. It's a tree that sometimes grants wishes, which is fictional, by the way. And there's not many lights, so I'll be right back when there's a lot of light. Okay, so I have a better recording spot. Yeah, and each day on May 1st in the story, people, it's called Wish Day, and people bring, like, types of, um, like, strings of, um, banner, a little banner or something, or a sock, a gym sock, or underwear, <laughs> and sometimes the wish gets granted, and I really like this story, so I wanted to tell you about it, and there is many types of characters, if I go through all of them, it'll take a long time, so... I'll, I'll name one, but if you ever if you're interested in the book, you can buy it. And there's this one anim, animal character that's named Bago, I think. And it's she's a crow, and she's kind of like the wish tree's friend. The wish tree's name is Red by the way. <laughs> and sometimes Bongo is Bongo. I just remembered. Bongo helps out Red for a lot of things. Like to grant someone's wishes. And Red has been a tree for over 100, 100 years. That's surprising. And I'd say that's pretty surprising, and when this new girl moves into the neighborhood, her name is Samar, and she doesn't know what the wish tree is, but then later on she learns about it, and I'd say that's pretty good, and then there's this new person introduced named Stefan, and at the end of the story, they become friends, and there's a spoiler alert on this. <laughs> and I'd say that the book is pretty good, in my opinion. So, yeah. That's my opinion on the book Wish Tree. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you the back of the book, or whatever it's called, I don't know. My close friends call me Red, and you can too. But for a long time, people in the neighborhood could have called me the Wish Tree. There is a reason for this, and it goes way back to when I wasn't more, much more than a tiny seed with higher aspirations. People come from all over town to adorn me with scraps of paper, tags, and bits of fabric, snippets of yarn, and the occasional gym sock. Each offering represents a dream, a desire, a longing. Draped, tossed, tied with a bow, all hopes for something be better. So yeah, that was the back of the book. And in my opinion, I give this book a... Hmm. I I give the book... Five stars. Because I like it. I really like it a lot. And... Um... See, I told you. And I told you that a big span of days between videos because I'm reading books. So, yeah. So, that's it for this video. Goodbye, guys.